So in this video I am going to talk about what is algorithm, why we need algorithms and what is difference between algorithm and program. This is first lecture in that series of DA subject, right. So see it is not like that you are using algorithms in computer science only. We all are using algorithms in our daily life, right. How? See let us take one example. If you want to make T in that case what you will do? You will follow some steps. First of all you will take a pen, add some water in it, you will put that pen onto flame, then add some tea leaves and uh, ginger or elaichi, whatever you want to add, then some milk, sugar and you will leave that pen onto that flame for some time maybe 1 minute, 2 minute like this and your tea is ready, right. So this is what obviously to make tea you are following some steps, This there is a proper processor. So this is algorithm, in computer science language if you will say then this is what algorithm means informally if you define algorithm then that is what set of steps to accomplish a task in real life in informal ways if you will define like this. Task is what you want to make t and for to accomplish that task you are following some set of steps and this is what algorithm fine. And this is only one example there are many examples like to make sandwich also you are following some steps that is also algorithm to make a phone call you are also using in that case also you are using algorithm, everywhere you are using algorithms, right. So in formal way if we define, so what is algorithm and see those steps are finite or infinite, like to make t there are some steps, those steps are finite or infinite, obviously the, those are finite, right. So what you can say the proper definition or you can say the formal definition of algorithm is what? It is finite number of steps or you can say finite set of instructions used to solve a problem or you can say used to solve a computational problem. It is better to say sequence of steps or instructions either you can write steps or instruction. Why rather than set of steps because in a set we can have uh, same type of multiple values the values can be repeated but that should not be a case in algorithm like we cannot repeat same step again and again like read A, read A, read A. One step would be uh, one time like read A, fine. So it is better to say sequence of instructions to solve a problem or to solve a computational problem, right. Finite sequence of steps. Now why we need algorithms? Let us take a real life example like if you want to construct a building in that case first of all what you will do? Obviously you design a map and then start construction. If you want some update then you update that map only and then actually construction should be started, right. It is not like that without map, without any planning, without any designing start directly construction. If you do not like anything then destroy that already constructed building and again start construction. If you do so then it is wastage of money, wastage of time, right. So that map is what? It is you can say relate, you can say that map is algorithm and the construction, actual construction is what? Program that thing we will also discuss. So for better construction map is necessary. So in computer science language you can say to design a better program algorithms are required. First of all algorithms are written then programs are written. Like if you have knowledge of uh, SDLC software development life cycle then first design phase is there right and then development phase or you can say the implementation phase. In implementation phase you code or you can say the programmers write programs. And first of all the design phase, in design phase actually there we write, they write algorithms. Like suppose if anyone want to uh, develop a software, it is not like they directly start writing programs. And if there, uh, there is any mistake or you want to update something, then again write a new program, fine. No, first of all you can write algorithms simply if you want to update something update in that algorithm and once finalized the design phase or the algorithm then start implementation, right. So you can say to design better programs algorithms are required. So I hope you got it why you need algorithms. Now if we discuss the difference between algorithm and program. So first already we have discussed these are required at design phase and this is what actual implementation. So these are required at implementation phase. Now I hope everybody have seen programs, right. So in which language programs are written? In any programming language like C, C++, Java, Python or any language, right. 
So these are written in any programming language, right? And they are required to follow the proper syntax of that language, right? Like if you are writing in C language, then how to take input using printf and scanf in C++ using C out and C in like this, right? But here to write algorithm, you require what? Natural language, like simple English language you can use, right? So algorithm can be written in any natural language. It's not like that, like this you have to follow some proper syntax and rules and all. But yeah, to some extent a proper format is there to write algorithm, right? But there are no strict rules or some syntax and all. Next thing is like programmers will write programs. Now who will write algorithm? That same example, that construction of a building. To design map, you go to an architect that architect will give you map of that building. Why so? Because that person is having knowledge of that field, right? So who will write algorithm? The person who is having the domain knowledge for which you want to implement a software, right? The person should have knowledge of that domain. Now next is, see as the subject name design and analysis of algorithm, analysis of algorithm, right? So we analyze algorithms. Right? And what about programs? Program are at implementation phase, then we are going to test these programs. Obviously, we are going to run and compile those programs. So that is what? Testing of programs. So we are going to test programs and we are going to analyze algorithms. And algorithms are these you will write in any natural language, you can say English language, right? And you will write simple on a paper or if you want to use computer then there you can write those programs, uh, sorry algorithms into MS Word or Notepad or Wordpad like this, right. But you will write programs, you need some ID to use to write programs. So you can say this is what hardware and software independent algorithm and programs are basically dependent on hardware and softwares you are using or you can say the operating system you are using. Now properties of algorithm. So there are basically two properties. First is what C, you have written here finite sequence of steps. It means algorithm should contain finite steps. It should not be infinite, right? So first is algorithm should be finite and unambiguous you can say. There shouldn't, there shouldn't be any ambiguity in algorithm. It should be clear, right? And second is what correctness means algorithm should be correct. Let us take that same example, if you want to make T and if you follow those steps then ultimately the output would be you will get T, right? It's not like that you are following those steps and you are getting cappuccino. No, means your algorithm is correct if you are getting that proper output, fine. So it should be correct, that is second property. So that's it for this video, in the next video I am going to discuss how to analyze an algorithm, right? So now I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.